all today and most probably i'm thankful for study metro for giving me an opportunity to uh, present my college at this platform so it's a very beautiful day when Hello. Uh -huh. I think there is some problem with uh, Miss Nilofer's uh, system because of which she went offline. I'll just uh, by that time we have our another uh, institution. University of Wisconsin Stout. We have Carrie Johnson from there. I'll quickly make the panel presenter. Hello, Carrie. Can you see my screen? I can see your cam. I'll just check. Yes, we can see your screen. Now you can. No, now not. Yes, your screen is visible now. Okay, great. So, yeah, my name is Corinne Johnson. I'm the international presentation is missing. Sorry? Your presentation is missing. Yes, you can see now. Great. Yeah, so I'm Corinne Johnson. I'm the International Admissions Counselor at the University of Wisconsin Stout, which is located in the U.S. Um, I'll skip that. So I mean, we're a university four years um, in the Midwest of the United States. So we we are located near Chicago, Minneapolis. Um, you know, so we're a very safe, friendly community. Um, oops. We're a very safe, friendly community, about one hour from Minneapolis, which has the international airport, the biggest mall in the United States. Um, then about five hours from Chicago, which I believe many people are very familiar with. Um, our university is located downtown, which is great for, for international students because you can walk to all the local restaurants and shops within five minutes, um, you know, which is great for students international because you typically don't have a vehicle um, when you're studying in the US. We have about a fact, um, student faculty ratio of about 19 to one. It's about 8,700 total students, um, both online and on campus. We, from there, about 150 to 200 international students um, they're both from about 30 or more different countries, so it's a very diverse group of international students. So it's not just going to be one, one country or culture dominating our international population um, from all over the United States, definitely from India as well. Um, our employment rate is about 98.8%. So our students are, you know, are very successful. You have to try, I joke with students that you have to try very hard not to get a job um, after you graduate. So one reason that we are so successful is we are a polytechnic university. So only about 3% of universities in the US are polytechnic. So it's not very common, which makes it great because our students you know, are desired. So we focus on careers. So every course that a student takes in their program is you know, there for a reason. So you're actually, you're gonna learn something and you're gonna take knowledge from every single course to, you know, to, and that will help you, you know, be successful in your career. Um, 
then all of the, the programs we offer, which I'll show, are in high demand for jobs. Um, the biggest part of the polytechnic that students will see is the applied learning. So instead of sitting in a lecture, in a lecture hall every single day, you know, listening to teachers talk, taking notes, taking exams, um, our students will be, you know, in our labs or at an internship or, you know, working in a group or doing something, you know, it's, for example, we have a game design and development major. Students in that program are actually developing a video game before they graduate. Um, we have our environmental science students working with the city to test our lake in the waters. Um, we have our pre-medicine students going to, um, you know, work in our cadaver lab on campus. It's like one of two in the U.S. or in, the, in Wisconsin. Um, engineering students in our robotics labs or plastics labs. So it's a lot of applied learning. Instead of just learning how to do something, students are just doing it. Okay. Um, and then collaboration, we have a lot of partnerships with different, you know, businesses and industries across the entire country for with over 300 partnerships. So students are really going to get, take advantage of our partnerships to help with internships and jobs. Um, here's all of our program, our undergraduate programs. I won't go into depth too much in those just for sake of time. Um, However, you know, we have programs in art and design, business, but engineering and science. We have a very, very strong art um, or STEM <laughs> IT and then human and social science. Okay. So, you know, we have, you know, for art and design, you have programs in animation, um, industrial design, then you also have business, fashion, um, hospitality. Then in addition, we have, you know, six engineering programs that I mentioned, packaging, plastics, manufacturing, mechanical, computer and electrical, and engineering technology. Then programs like psychology, criminal justice, um, then computer science and game design that I mentioned. Then below, you can see some different companies that are often hiring our students. Then here's our graduate programs. We, you know, have, more graduate programs than this. However, those are only offered on, on campus or online. So we have programs in applied psychology. Um, the most popular one for our um, students from like India, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Pakistan are, is our food and nutritional sciences. So our students are, um, you know, getting to learn how to, you know, testing foods and working with partners um, in our food and nutritional science labs. And of course, risk control. Risk control is a great program for engineering students who maybe, um, you know, want to pursue it in a master's degree, but maybe don't want to go directly into an engineering program. Um, it's a great, great addition and something for our engineering students. Then we have our um, our tuition and fees. Something great about Stout, we're a very affordable institution. So, you know, when we show students our fees, we're gonna make sure that everything's included in that. So students are not coming to campus and being surprised with, with all the fees, um, extra fees that they have to pay. So for our graduate programs, we do also include a laptop and all of their their program software intuition. So students are getting that up-to-date technology, you know, that brand, all that software. So when they are graduating, students have a great, um, a great experience and knowledge in those software programs, you know, which jobs are typically looking for. So you're getting that advantage um, at our polytechnic institution versus a lot of other institutions that may not include those. Um, and then for all of our programs, graduate and undergraduate, we include all of your textbooks, housing, food on campus, health insurance. Um, we have great tutoring centers, writing centers, um, math. We also do have a local bus transportation for students, so you can get around the city or just around the campus. 
um, with, you know, with your student ID. So the, the total fees that are shown here are actually going to, you know, that's going to be the maximum. That's the I-20 cost. So our students, you know, are not coming to campus and being surprised with any fees. So, in a, of course, we do have scholarships. We really, I would say most of our international students do receive a scholarship. So, the first, the most common one that most of our students, you know, are, are looking at and receive is that $5,000 international student scholarship. That's an automatic scholarship if students have a 3.0 grade point average or GPA or higher when they're accepted. So if they're admitted and I'm reviewing their application and I see they have that GPA, um, I will automatically award them a scholarship, give them a scholarship letter and issue that on their I-20. That is something students can keep every year. So up to $20,000 total if you're in a four-year program, um, you know, every single year as long as they maintain their grades. The, the larger scholarship we have is called the You Are Welcome Here Scholarship. Um, this is a newer scholarship program that we've added to our institution. It's a 50% scholarship off of that non-resident tuition. So it's valued a little about $8,000. Um, that's again, every single year, as long as students are maintaining though that GPA of a 3.5 um, is what we require. So much higher, you know, achieving students. Um, of course, this is for, you know, only first year undergraduate students only. So students directly coming out of, of secondary school. Um, there is an additional application and essay. Typically only two students are awarded this scholarship every year. Um, I know we did have one student from India um, receive this, this pack for this fall 2020. Then we have our foundation scholarships. Those range, you know, anywhere from two hundred and fifty dollars to eight thousand five hundred a year. You know, each scholarship is going to have a different requirement and a different award amount. So there's about eighty scholarships in one application. Um, so students are automatically applying for all 80, 80 ish scholarships. So you know, this is something too that I want to push. Working with Study Metro. Um, they're going to have all this information. They're going to know what you need. But this is kind of just so students are aware of what kind of documents they need if they're maybe only, you know, in year 11 or, you know, or something like that, or even younger, 9 or 10. They have a goal to aim for. So we have an online application. We are on the Common app. There's an application fee. Um, they, we do ask for a TOEFL IELTS um, score. You can see the requirements down below. Um, for those, but I know there's quite a few um, IB like international schools. If students are attending a school where the, you know, they're getting taught in English, um, we can waive the TOEFL or IELTS. Of course, I know that I would talk with Study Metro because I know sometimes, you know, it's easier to get a visa with with the TOEFL or IELTS. So that's something to talk to Study Metro about and they can give you advice on what, on what their experiences have been with other students. Uh, but for admission, we do not need a TOEFL or IELTS if they're getting taught in English. And a bank statement and academic records. So we don't require the, any additional exams. So the ACT, SAT, and the GRE are not required. Of course, if students are taking those exams anyway, we are more than happy to accept those exams if they if they do um, submit those. And there's no deadline and there's no minimum grade point average required for admission just for scholarship. 